Hey everybody, happy Friday. Welcome back to another fireside chat. Uh, today, I just wanted to share something that the Lord showed me. And it's kind of part vision and then some of the explanation that he gave to me about what I saw. So during my quiet time this morning, the Lord showed me a picture of myself and the Lord walking down this hallway. And he sometimes does that where we'll be walking down a hallway or we're walking down a path and then we'll, we'll enter into some type of room or scene or something. So we enter into this room and it kind of looked like a boardroom or something like where somebody would be having a meeting. There was a large table in the middle. There was just people gathered around the table. And as soon as we walked through the door, I heard the meeting of the mantles. So I knew that it, that this meeting was about mantles. And as I saw this room and the people sitting around the table, I knew that these were elders and they were reviewing these books, these documents. And as I watched them kind of go through these papers and these books, they also had pictures of people's faces. And so you would see flashes of pictures and it just looked like they were, they were working on a project together is really what it looked like. And then as I watched them for a while, this line of angelic beings and hosts, they, they formed a line at the head of the table. And as these elders worked through these documents, whenever they would come to a decision about a mantle, they would hand it to the next angelic being in line. And so when they handed them this, this assignment, this mantle, this delivery, that angelic being would literally take off to go deliver it to the person that it was being given to. And so before I get into this any further, I just want to clarify for those who may not know what a mantle is. And really this relates back to the Old Testament where we hear about Elijah and Elisha and others that had mantles. So really just a... um a basic definition of a mantle, it literally was like a cape that was worn. So you can often see that where, you know, it's a covering, it's, it's a cape. But really, in what I saw today, the mantle is really specifically referring to a specific role or position and where there are certain responsibilities that are associated with this role or the position. It's a calling, it's a purpose, it's a gifting. So when I'm talking about these mantles being passed out, they were being passed out as assignments, as a, a purpose. Um, maybe someone being transitioned into another season and the angelic beings are literally being given these mantles to deliver to us right now. Another interesting part, as I'm seeing this all play out, I'm laying on my floor where, where I always do, uh, when I just soak before the Lord and I just sit silent before him. And all of a sudden, as I'm seeing this in, in my mind, this, this vision, the room feels like it's spinning. It literally felt like the only uh, the only thing that I could really describe it as was if you've ever seen a movie or maybe you have it in your own life where you're literally in like a cockpit of a fighter jet or something like that where it just does like the turns and you are literally looking out that front window and it's just like turning that's what I felt like as I was seeing all this play out so it's like I'm seeing this and I'm spinning these these turns like full circles. And I started to actually feel a little bit dizzy as, as I'm watching this vision play out. So basically that was really the end of the vision. And immediately after I had jotted down a couple notes that I felt like the Lord was saying about, you know, what this actually meant. 
So the first phrase I heard was a complete turnaround, nothing left unturned. And that's why I was seeing the, the full circle of the spin. I was basically just going through this, this spinning, this turning. It wasn't a partial turn. It wasn't a, you know, a half turn. It wasn't 160 degrees. It was literally a complete turnaround. So I feel like that's one thing that he's specifically saying is happening right now and is coming. And then as far as the mantles, he said, new assignments are being distributed right now. And he went on to say, some who have been relevant in this season will no longer be relevant in the next. Some who have been hidden in past seasons will now be moved to the forefront. And this part is really where I feel like the bulk of this word is, like the gist of, of this whole vision and these pictures, because the Lord said, I am weighing the motives of the heart. Those who are found wanting will fade from the limelight. And I have heard that phrase before, found wanting, but I didn't really remember what it meant. I didn't really remember like the context of it. So I had found in my research, it says to be weighed in the balance and found wanting, which means to be judged deficient or substandard after being tested or, re or reviewed. That person is lacking all that is needed or expected. So as the Lord was speaking to me in this, and I was just doing some research on, on the words that he gave and looking at the whole vision picture, he is passing out these new assignments. There is literally a board room meeting of mantles going on right now in the heavenly realms where they are determining who on this earth is able and ready to receive a mantle and a new assignment, a new purpose, a new, a new uh, gifting. Who is found to be ready for that? Who is found with the right motives, the right heart, the right positioning, the right desire, the right, you know, mindset. He's not looking for substandard or deficient or people that have built up a platform in order to gain more recognition for themselves. But he's looking for people that will literally lay down their lives for Jesus every single day, that will take up their cross every single day, that will give up every single thing in their life and lay it down at his feet and say, Lord, here I am, use me. And so right now in this time, he is literally handing out new mantles, new assignments, and these elders in this boardroom are literally reviewing every single person. And he's even saying that there may be people that have been elevated in past seasons and, and, and currently, and if those people are found with the wrong motives, those mantles are being removed and they will be given to someone else. So it's a it's also a word where we need to be searching our hearts and and be are we found righteous before the Lord? Are our motives pure in every single thing that we're doing? I also love how he said the people that have been tucked away and hidden for a season or maybe many seasons, they will rise to the forefront. They will they will arise to the limelight because as this review in heavenly places has been taken place, they have been found approved for a mantle in this time. And that just gives us a hope and encouragement that we need to be found righteous before the Lord. We need to be asking and seeking him for our purpose asking him to show us the things that are in us that don't line up with his word, that don't line up with the purpose that he has for our life. And if he has an assignment that he wants to give us, and maybe there's something that isn't right in our life that's blocking that assignment, we need to just ask him, Lord, show me what those things are that need to be removed so that I can receive the assignment for my life. And I just wanted to read a few scriptures 
that went along with this word. The first one is Proverbs 16, 2, and it says, All the ways of a man are clean in his own sight, but the Lord weighs the motives. And that's just another part where we can see people that are sharing messages, you know, on social media that they may sound good to our ears, but is it truly coming from the Lord? And that's where the Lord is weighing hearts. He's weighing motives right now. What is the true motive behind what you're doing? And if you're found lacking or you're found where it's not coming from the mouth of God, or if it's not coming from a, a pure place, those voices will begin to diminish and they will be, they will basically be silenced in some regard. And the next verse is Proverbs 16, 11, And it says, honest scales and balances belong to the Lord. All the weights in the bag are of his making. So again, the Lord is reminding us in this scripture that he holds the scales and it's, it's up to him who gets what mantle. It's up to him who gets a new assignment right now. It's up to him as this boardroom of heaven distributes these, these new assignments, these, these mantles, these new purposes in the earth right now. It's up to him. And we are being weighed. The hearts of men are being weighed right now on the Lord's scale. And we're going to see who was weighed correctly during this time. So I just want to leave you with this, that maybe all of this mantle stuff is new to you. And you're not really sure what it means and you don't really know much about it. So I would just say for you just to take this to the Lord Ask him specifically whether you want to call it a mantle or an assignment or a calling or a purpose. Ask him to reveal that to you. Ask him, what are the things in me that may be holding me back from my true purpose and my calling? What are the things in me, the sin or maybe the deep places that need cleaned out? What are those things that are, are holding back this, this mantle, this calling to be fulfilled right now? And for those that are already maybe in ministry or you, you know the Lord has a calling on your life, maybe you're ready for something new, you're ready for a new assignment, I just pray that the Lord would just open those doors that he wants to open for you, that you would have clarity and, and assurance that he has your future in his hands. There's no plot, plan, or scheme of the enemy that can hold back what the Lord has planned for you. So I just, I just pray that the Lord's will will just become clear for you right now as he hands out these new assignments. And this is just another reminder too that let's just all come before the Lord. Let's have him check our hearts and if we have pride or an agenda that doesn't line up with his will for us, let him search our hearts and let's just ask him to clean out those places that need to be cleaned out so that every one of us can receive the assignment and the mantle that he needs us to, to do right now. Every single one of us as the body of Christ needs to join in for this next move of God. So... I pray that this was a word of encouragement to you guys today. I hope you have a wonderful weekend and whether you're going to a pumpkin patch or you're just relaxing at home, maybe you're working, whatever you're doing, I just pray that you would just feel the presence of the Lord, that you would share Jesus everywhere you go. Let the light of the, of the Lord just shine forth from you guys. So God bless you and until next time, we'll see ya.